I'll keep it short for you guys, partly because we have four other people and partly because I'm not used to standing in heels. Um, <laughs> I have two main things that I want to talk about. The first is I did, I, I did a little construction and a little bit of VBS with Miss Donna, um, which I love the construction. Um, it's so much fun. The bucket line, everyone, uh, I just love it. Um, and all the Haitian teenagers and adults that come and help us. And we had this one little boy who helped us multiple times. And um, he spoke no English. And we speak as little Creole as is humanly possible. <laughs> uh, so really, the only way we communicated with him was by saying beep beep because he had a wheelbarrow that he was wheeling at the work site. And if he was behind us, he'd say, beep, beep. <laughs> and we'd acknowledge, we, we would acknowledge him by replying, beep, beep. Um, but it's just, it's just funny to me that even through the language barrier, that he, I knew he was telling me to move because he has a wheelbarrow. Um, and he was just so helpful. And I think that's, that's uh, true for most of the Haitians that I see there, they're so helpful, they're so willing to help. I mean, when he first came, he, he was tossing buckets with no gloves on. I mean, no gloves on. That, that really hurts. <laughs> um, those, those buckets are heavy and they're sharp at the bottom from just being tossed around. Yeah, Steve, Steve knows that. <laughs> uh, poor Steve got hit in the nose with a bucket. <laughs> um, it wasn't me this time. Or me. <laughs> um, but so following that sort of following that train of thought um, with the whole language barrier thing, when I was at VBS uh, the first day, I believe, maybe the second day, I'm not really sure. It all kind of rolls together when you're in a different country and you can't speak to people. Um, one of the days we were asking the kids if they knew John 3.16. And one girl raised her hand and I'm assuming said something like, of course I know it. <laughs> and she just rattled it off and I didn't understand a word, but I knew it was John 3.16. And I just think that's incredible. We heard them singing. I mean, most of them were not songs that we recognized. But, you know, sometimes we had them sing, uh, Jesus Loves Me. Or, Jesus Loves the Little Children. There we go. Um, and the words made no sense to me. But the tune, the tune was there. So I knew what they were singing. And it's, it's just so funny to me that I can't speak to them at all. You know, I can say hi. I can ask them their name. And I can say bye, and that's about it. <laughs> um, and normally, all they can say is bye and you, 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 because they sh all the little children will shout that at us white people as we're walking by. Um, it's just, I just think it's wonderful to be able to go and hear the same songs that I sang as a kid being sung by little kids in a different country with a different language and a different culture. Okay, so that's all I have to say on that subject. <laughs> The next thing I want to talk about is the bruises I managed to accumulate. And this sounds like a, weir a really weird tangent, but I promise I have a point to it. Um, so, you know, when you're in Haiti, you, you, you get some bruises, really, you do. Um, I can't tell you how many times I stood up and whacked my head right off the top of my mom's bunk bed. <laughs> I started to think I had a concussion. Um, I can't tell you how many times I hit my leg trying to get up from the picnic table. I can't tell you how many times I was whacked by a bucket that I forgot to catch. <laughs> um, but in Haiti, the bruises didn't really look too bad. You know, they didn't look so bad. Yeah, a couple bruises on my legs. There's this weird cut on my arm, whatever. When you come home, though, um, and I really didn't notice last night, I kind of came home and passed out, um, as I had been for the entire flight home from Atlanta and the entire drive home from Pittsburgh. Um, I was tired. <laughs> but I come home this morning and I'm getting ready for church and I look at my legs and I think, oh my goodness gracious! What is this? My legs are purple and they're yellow and they're green in a couple of places and I just... and it looks so bad. I'm like, well I wanted to wear a dress this morning. I guess that's out the window. 
Um, but I think, I think that really opened my eyes. Um, it's so easy, it's so normal to be, well, as best you can, um, to be a witness for Christ in, when you're out on a mission trip with people who are there helping you and people, the Haitians, who are there receiving the message willingly and happily and they hug you and they're happy about hearing the word, even if you need an interpreter to tell them the word. And you come home and it's so hard, for me at least, it is so hard just to talk to my friends about it. I mean, you know, most of my friends are Christian, but I have a few people that I sit with at lunch who are not, um, just because I don't have anywhere else to sit. Uh, and it, it's very hard for me all the time, just, you know, just to sort of bring it up. And I think that's definitely something that I would, you know, this isn't really a testimony, this is actually an asking for prayer, but <laughs> I think that that's what I would like to get better at, is not going away on these mission trips and doing this, because it's so easy out there. It's so easy, it really is. I mean, once you get there and you get through it, but the, the witnessing part is what I mean. The witnessing part is so easy. You know, you tell your interpreter what to say, and he says it, and they listen. But sometimes at home, you you talk to people, and they just slam the metaphorical or actual door in your face. Um, and so that's just what I wanted to bring home to you guys, is that bruises look a lot different when you're back home. <laughs> um, thank you for praying for us and for keeping up with us on Facebook, or AbcoPad, although AbcoPad wasn't really working very well. Um, I, I just really appreciate it, guys. I really do. Thank you for helping me get there.